free your imagination, discovering the plastic tool. With this short movie, we are pleased to introduce the new plastic tool, the greatest innovation of Tune 7.0. This tool, highly innovative, introduces a new very powerful way of animating, perfectly integrated with the already existing tools. Let's go over plastic is, and how it works, answering to some imaginary questions. What is plastic? It is a tool, that allows to create a deformable mesh, starting from a level. Once the mesh is created, a skeleton have to be built on the mesh, to be able to deform it, and to create keyframes along the scene duration. The skeleton is a set of connected vertexes, and, for each vertex, different parameters, can be specified. Which kind of tunes levels, can be animated with plastic? The plastic tool, can be used on all the kind of images that can be loaded in tunes, and also on subsheet columns. This means that can be used both, on traditional production, than on the paperless one. How a plastic is integrated inside tunes. The plastic tool is fully integrated with tunes, exploiting its powerful features. The plastic level is a new type of tunes level generated by the create mesh button. The first thing to do once the mesh column has been generated is to create a skeleton for use in animating. It can be animated, moving its vertexes along the time. Using the plastic tool, in animation mode, a keyframe will be created each time a vertex is moved, or rotated. The animation channels are editable in the function editor pane. The level used to create the mesh is automatically used as texture of the mesh and will deform accordingly with the deformation of the mesh. Special effects can be assigned to it. And that's not all. Animation can be created mixing drawings, or part of them, animated with plastic, with drawings animated in more traditional way. How a plastic can help me, to speed up the production time. In every kind of production, the plastic tool can be used to create an animation from scratch starting from a single image, or from a sequence. In a paperless production, plastic can be used to animate some part of the character, saving a lot of drawings. In a traditional animation, plastic can be used to correct some animation errors, or to add additional movements to a character. Creating a mesh from a subsheet, it is possible to compose the movement, composing different drawings inside the subsheet, and animating the ensemble. A good example is a subsheet that contains a drawing of an head. Combined with different mouth drawings. The animation of the mouth allows the character talking, while the entire shape of the head, where the mouth is included, can be used to create a mesh, and to animate it. Seven point one plastic improvements. Inside tunes Harlequin seven point one, 
were included some interesting news as regards the plastic tool. The first one is the addition of the edit mesh mode. Activating this mode, the command swap edge, collapse edge, and split edge becomes available. Their usage gives to the user the possibility, for example, to increase and decrease the mesh density according with the kind of deformation he want to achieve. Instead, the cut mesh command creates a duplicate of an edge to have the possibility to move the triangle points and create an hole. This last function is very useful if, as in this example, you are animating a mouth. New options, has been added, are also to the already existing modes. The snap to mesh option, in the skeleton mode, allows to better fit the skeleton vertexes, with a mesh, to achieve better results, in the texture deformation. In the animation mode, has been added the angle bounds option, that allows setting a minimum and a maximum value, expressed in degrees, for the skeleton node rotation. The value can be set for each node and its influence spreads to the child nodes. Let's see some examples. This scene is made starting from two raster drawings, one for the frontal view and one for the profile. As you can see, the girl, the apple, and the scarf are nested into one subsheet column. The apple and the scarf are placed far from the girl and are moved at the right place using the skeleton animation with the keep distance option turned off. To put the scarf around the girl's neck, the stacking order parameters has been used. As you can see, the character passes from the front to the side, the animation can remain consistent thanks to the ability to use more skeletons for the same column mesh. The consistency of the animation is ensured by the ability to identify each vertex with a name, such as right shoulder or left hand, using the same animation channel for different skeletons. Let us now to see another scene. In this case we are working on a paperless production based on vector drawings and we used a mix technique. The body of the character that needs a more complex animation is based on drawings while the other parts such as ears, tail, Arch legs and arms are animated using the plastic tool. Note that columns, containing animation columns, and mesh columns, can be linked each other by connecting hooks, placed on animation levels with plastic skeleton vertexes. A final example, concerns the possibility of using plastic to improve an already drawn animation. Look at this animation cycle, while the step is very natural, the upper body of the character is quite rigid. Using plastic, we could add, very easily, some small movements of the head and torso, which makes the animation more natural. We hope that the vision of this little video has you brought curiosity and desire to try the revolutionary and powerful plastic tool.